Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas How I wish that there were more than the 24 hours in the day on the west side of Buffalo, New York, the little Italian section of Buffalo. Dad was a fireman, mom a crossing guard, and grandpa passed away when I was six, and out of 27 grandchildren, he left me and my brother Joe a guitar each. That's how it started. He must have been physic. Psych. Psych. You know what? It's wonderful. We argue at times. We disagree. We're brothers and sister. I mean, of course we're going to argue, but we never, by the time the curtain goes up, we probably have forgotten what the argument was, and definitely by the next day at our age, <laughs> we forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I was nine years old, I was playing the banjo at a little place called Johnny's Old Time Tavern in, uh, in Buffalo, and there was a Jolson impersonator, and he played the spoons. One. A real good Jolson impersonator. I mean, he did, he did, he looked like Al Jolson, and he played the spoons, and I asked him once, could you show me how to do it? Well, it's very rhythmical. You know, the old vaudeville players used to play the bones, uh, but I, I don't have bones. So. <laughs> It is the most rewarding business in the world to do what you love to do as a job, but as pleasure and to see 700 people out there having fun because of what we're doing. Unbelievable. And what also, do. if you're there's gonna, nothing more enjoyable. If you're going to do Enjoy. music, you have to translate music into terms that people understand. Eighteen years ago, uh, they had a drummer prior to me, and he he had to go on and do other things. So they were stuck, and I happened to be in town, and they knew I played. So we rented a drum set. We tried it out for two weeks till they found someone, and they they found someone. It was Luke. Put your hands together for Peter O'Donnell. This eighteen years, you know, with me, and even more prior to that, of material. You have 90 minutes to try to get it all in, or at least give them everything you got. And that's very difficult, because we have enough material to go for nine hours. These guys have done two and a half hour shows without even a, without a problem. Oh, no, I'm happy for everyone. Me too, Jerry. I'm so happy everyone's happy. Now, what the hell are you crying for? What's wrong? What's wrong? The guy that wrote the Hokey Pokey died. <laughs> Forgive us for laughing, but you're crying because the guy that wrote the hokey pokey died? Dino, they couldn't bury him. Why? Because when he put the right foot in, the left foot came out, and he put the right arm in, and, <laughs> and they shook him all well, about. Right, Come all right. on. That's what it's all about. Will you grow up? <laughs> We collaborate on every piece of material we do. A lot of it's created on stage, especially the comedy. Singers get you. Look at Billy Joel. He gets chicks that look like, what's her name? Christy Brinkley. Yep. We get chicks that look like who? 
Billy Joel. Yep, 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 yep. Mustache, beard. Just like Grandma. Yep. In, in the past, all the material we've developed, we did first on stage. We never rehearsed. Frank and I had the snack of uh, just listening to a song and learning it. it was half and half. And then it, as we played it and we, we uh, made it better and better, and if it worked, we'd keep it in the show and polish it up, and if it didn't, we'd toss it. Now we have a producer who overlooks everything and says, that works, that doesn't, <laughs> and he's done a great job. The comments we get that make make me feel good is people go, you know, we came to your show, we didn't know what to expect, and after halfway through the show, we felt like part of your family. And that, to me, is awesome. My dad took me to the finest clothing store in Buffalo, New York, S&R Clothing. S&R. Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> That's right, he bought me that powder blue polyester leisure Woo! suit. All right. That's right, some of yous still wear them. <laughs> That's right, I wore, I wore Grandpa's gold medallion of Sicily, like this. How you doing? We're very proud of our heritage, but we also let everybody in that audience know, as well as we are proud, that everybody should be proud of their heritage, because that is what makes this country probably the greatest nation on the planet. To the heroes in our everyday lives, we don't think of them every day, but without them we'd be lost. Our civil servants, teachers, paramedics, law enforcement, firefighters like our father who served 30 years on the Buffalo Fire Department. As long as we have been performing as a family, we have always said thank you to them because a lot of them didn't get a handshake or a thank you. But we love them much, our veterans. Justin, would you light up the house? If you're a veteran or an active member of our armed forces, would you proudly stand and look around at your brothers and sisters? Where are you? Look at this. Look at this, man. I knew it. God bless you. Hoo We're having a ball. We're living our dream. That's yeah. right. They told us we everybody in Vegas would know who we were, and they were they were not lying. People repeat all the time. We see familiar faces every night from all the cities we play. They they come back because. They say, it's such a great show, we, we gotta get our, you know, our shit to fix or something. You know, you gotta come back. And they do. Fishermen go to the ocean, entertainers go to Las Vegas. Our dream was to be here.